My name is Danielle and I work with our customers here at Priority Matrix. You most likely clicked on this video because you are a current user of the Bullet Journal. I am here to show you how you can implement the Bullet Journal even more efficiently using Priority Matrix. With Bullet Journaling, I understand that creating an index is vital so that you can locate everything that you need. And Priority Matrix, simply look under your project list. This will give you a very clear bird's eye view of everything that you have going on. I know that you use certain symbols like the left arrow, right arrow, the dot bullet for tasks, open bullet for events, dash for notes, and asterisk to symbolize importance. Priority Matrix has an entire collection of icons and symbols that you can use to symbolize all of these too. In order to add your icon, just click on the task in the top left hand corner of the task. Click on any icon of your choice. One great thing to keep in mind is that with Priority Matrix, you do not have to create an icon to symbolize notes. Under each task, just go to See Notes and add your notes. One last thing to worry about. Now, I understand that some things are way more important than anything else, and we definitely did not forget about those things. To the top left of the icon, you'll see a little star. You can star your item to show that it is super important. If you are a business user, we will send you a priority matrix tag report, which will show you the items that you follow that are unfinished and starred. Just another way to help you stay on top of things. The icons and starring function will help you stay visually organized. You might have also noticed that you could add tags to your events. This is a great way to categorize similar tasks. Tags are just like collections. They make sure that your tasks and events are located neatly under specific topics. With Priority Matrix, you can set task start dates, due dates, as well as monitor your progress. All you need to do is click on your project and you will see the progress and due date functions. Customize them to your needs. Once your task is complete, there is no need to write an X. All you have to do is mark the task as completed. To do this, just go to your task and click the little square to check it off as complete. You can also migrate your tasks just like you would with the left arrow of the bullet journal. All you have to do is drag your task to another project and move it to another quadrant that it should be in. For example, I'm not going to finish this project the second week of June and I'd rather get it done by the first week of July. No problem. All I'm going to do is drag it over to July and move it to that first quadrant. I can also change the date to match the first week of July. Another thing that I would like to note is that you should keep your bullet points, or in this case, task and event descriptions very brief. You can elaborate about the task or event under the note section, as I explained, or you can upload files and take screenshots. Another thing that you can do is if you're working with a team, you can have a conversation. You can also delegate tasks. Both of these will reduce email traffic. Now, in place of your monthly log, you will create a separate project for each month. As you can see, there are four quadrants, week one, week two, week three, and week four. Each quadrant obviously represents one week out of the month. Your future log will simply be looking forward to future months. There's no need to be conscientious about how much space you are using like you would with the bullet journal. Feel free to take up as much space as you need using the Priority Matrix platform because you can drag and drop the middle of the Priority Matrix screen to expand certain quadrants. If you are very used to the bullet journal, you might be tempted to add a project titled Daily Log where you rewrite all of your tasks and events into the log every single day, delete them the next, and then add them again the next day. It is definitely fine if you decide to add a daily log project, but for the sake of efficiency, let's consider the master list. The master list shows you tasks across all projects so that you do not have to spend time switching from one task to another. The moment that you step foot into your office, just go to your master list and select today. This week, you do not have to enter tasks and events more than once, saving your precious time. Now, your master list can actually function as a daily log, a weekly log, monthly log, future log, and even past log. Simply use the modify filter up top 
and sort it for the next month by going to the filter button and show items with modified date. Choose the dates that you would like to be shown. The filter button allows you to determine what you want to look at right now. Keep in mind that you can filter what you see not only by the due date, but based on criteria such as finished or unfinished, item name, item tags, and more. I think my favorite type of filter to use is with item tags. All you do is check off the tag that you, tab, tag that you need and then click the little funnel button next to projects. And they're filtered. I have a doctor's appointment the first week of June. Using the filtering button will save you time and it ensures that you do not lose anything. Please note, if you like to see the big picture of things, take a look at our calendar function or the Gantt chart. Everything will be laid out right in front of you. Now, if you're feeling really adventurous, you can delete all of your monthly logs and instead create projects based off of your collections. For example, marketing and budget. As you can see, as I've explained, the master list already is your daily, monthly, and future log. That's just an option. Now, what I like is on your projects, you can switch views between the Gantt chart, the calendar, and the quadrants. Okay, so if you're like me, you do not want to spend 30 minutes going through papers to find that one important paper that you were looking for. Like I said, Priority Matrix has everything all in one place. If you are looking for a specific task or event, simply use our search function up top. Now, there is no need to spend 30 minutes skimming through your papers. You can find what you need within 30 seconds. Oh, those are what I needed. Last but not least, I also wanted to bring up that you can integrate Priority Matrix with Evernote. You can also integrate Priority Matrix with Apple Mail, Outlook, and Gmail. We have specific articles that will explain this step-by-step -step on our help page. If this sounds like it would be helpful to you, please head to www.appfluence.com. Repeat, www.appfluence.com, where you can sign up for your free trial today. Let us know if you have any questions or would like us to make more tutorials as we want Priority Matrix to be the best fit for you. Have a great day and stay productive.